Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about our play games and today we're gonna be playing Super Mario Odyssey. Now in the last episode if you don't remember, we pretty much finished up everything we needed to do in New Donk City. And in today's video we're gonna go ahead and just try to get any moons that we possibly can and move on to the next kingdom. I think there's one that we could get down here if we just capture this sewer grate and yeah. Hopefully it just doesn't kill us, you know. This one's a bit of a fun one. We can get a secret moon if we go around the side here. I think. Yeah, right here. Outside the rotating maze. So now that we've got the extra moon. All of these little secret sections have two moons, by the way. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before in the channel. Anyways, we basically just have to rotate all of these things and see if we can get the power moons. You have to be real careful though because these piranha plants are over here. You can throw a cap in their mouths and then just punt them. So that's a pretty easy solution. Got three out of five so we're pretty much almost done here. I believe the last one is over by this piranha. Yes, it is. And there we go! Oh wait, hold on. I thought that was the last one. I can't count, apparently. I don't know, I, I just exercised for a bit, so my brain is a bit weird. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. And that's number five. We're all good. So now we just have to go out the opposite way that we came in. It should be pretty easy, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. I already had pretty much the entire path planned out from when I entered in. Inside the rotating maze. So the, the one that we got outside of it was outside the rotating maze. And that one we got was inside the rotating maze. So just a fun little thing there. I think this is also a moot. Uh, moon we can get. Boy, I tell you, this city. We could just sit down next to this guy and he's like, You're not from around here, are you? You're the first person ever to just sit down next to me. It's a lonely city. Thanks for reaching out. Take this for your troubles. One of the easiest moons in the game. Bench Friends. It's a nice little name. I don't know why I said that so weird. I apologize if I say sentences weird. I'm kind of out of whack today. Inside the iron girder. Girder is such a funny word to say. Girder. Tell me what your favorite word is in the comment section below. This music is just so nice. I'll let you guys listen to it for a bit. It's such a nice song. Inside here we have... Yeah, we have two extra moons that we can get, and I think once we get these, we'll just need one more, so we should have enough. Oh. We can swing across the poles and we get our secret moon high over the crowd, and the normal moon is just if we go to the end here. We're on this little side area over here. You might have seen it from when we kind of walked by it over there. Got some blue co co or purple coins there. I won't be collecting the purple coins for this playthrough. Uh, I want to do that after the main game as a fun little side thing. I'll be getting all the purple coins and then I'll get 500 moons. because that's how much you can do to get to the end of the, like, the main section. Oh, crud. Okay, I'm not one to blame lag on games, but... This is where I do all my tr Just imagine this guy swinging from pole to pole over here. I don't know why, but that just makes me chuckle. I also like the word chuckle.
I almost died there. <laughs> So my next Let's Play, I did a poll saying, hey, what do you guys want to see for my next Let's Play? But I realized that if I just do that for all my Let's Plays, I might end up playing a game that I don't really want to play. I was just putting one there for the option of choice. I want to finish all of my unfinished Let's Plays. I think I said that around a year-ish ago. By the way, my uh, three-year channel anniversary is coming up. Wait, has it been three? Yeah, it's been three years because I started in May of 2018. These are cool little designs for stuff, a little plus sign and just both of the poles. But yeah, that's our last boon for New Donk City. So let's go ahead and head to our next kingdom and see what we can do there. Head down here at the Odyssey. I might start doing longer videos just for the sake of, you know, I, I watched this YouTuber named Chuck O'Conroy and a while back he made a video of like how he makes YouTube videos and I want to sort of take like different things from that and sort of spin it into my own style, I guess. Because he is like the reason I got into Let's Playing in general. So I'm taking a few like different stylistic things from what he does and trying to spin them into my own thing. You know, if I, you want me to go back to what I did normally before I'm starting to do this sort of thing, then you can just let me know. But we got to our 75th Power Moon and the Odyssey is powered up, so we can head to our next thing. I believe this next one is a fork in the road. Yes. So... Proverbial fork in the road. We have Snow Kingdom and Seaside Kingdom. You know what? I'll head to Snow Kingdom first, because Seaside is a bit of a shorter one. And let's head off. Mario time. I like the little things he says while the Odyssey is taken off. We see this cutscene a lot, so is there a way I can... I'll go ahead and skip the cutscene. Because we've seen it a thousand times. What an amazingly energetic festival. Let's keep that energy going as we keep up the chase. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip. Wall jump. Jump toward a wall and when you touch it, press B to do a wall jump. You can press B again when you reach a facing wall and keep repeating to reach e really high places. Well, there it is. Let's check out the Snow Kingdom next. I, I I can't really roll my R's. I can roll my B's though. It looks so cold and it sounds like it looks so it looks so cold and it sounds like the races in town are quite popular and the prize is a frosted frost cake or frost frosted cake. Whichever order the frosts were, I don't remember. Snow Kingdom, Shiveria. So yeah, it's looking like a bit of a barren wasteland. The Cake Thief's Parting Gift. So yeah, someone already stole the cake. I'll give you ten guesses as to who it is, and believe me, you won't need the other nine. I don't know why I said ten specifically. Normally it's like three guesses. But yeah, there's some freezing water here that you don't want to go in. But if we head into here, it's a bit more of a friendly sort of area. It's the most adorable Mario creatures ever. So the main thing here is, yes, turns out that Bowser stole the cake. Who could have guessed? The guy who's been setting up a wedding came here and stole a cake. I don't know why I'm sounding so condescending. Uh, that monster stole our racing prize, the Frost Frosted Cake. As if that weren't bad enough, you blocked the entrance to our race course. We need to- we need Power Moons to get back in. Sounds like we see our next objective. That wasn't said properly at all. But yeah, while I'm hippity hoppiting through here, messing with these 
blowy guys. Just let me know, do you guys prefer longer episodes, like around 10 to 12 minutes? Or do you like the shorter episodes that are around, or the longer episodes that are around like 15 to 20 minutes? I didn't do that correctly at all. I tried to skip, but then I remember you have to defeat the spikies in order to... Or the spinies. I don't know why I said spikies. I guess they are spiky guys, but these guys have been around since Mario 1, so I don't know why I forgot their name completely. So this is how you properly do it. You knock off their Santa hat, then you capture him, and then you exhale. And that's how we get our next moon. The Gusty Barrier. Gusty is another good word. There are so many good words that I enjoy. I'll have to just make that our title. The title of the video will just be Favorite Words. And I'll just put a bunch of random words like... I don't know. Then again, that doesn't seem like that would be a video that people would want to watch. Just me talking about my different favorite words. I think there's a boss fight here, so that could be a good place to end off the video. Yeah, here's a boss fight here where we fight off the Brutals. You fight them each once and then you get a rematch for each of them. And... So yeah, that's just how it's all... Organized. Anyways. Hyo hyo hyo. We got the Frost Frosted Cake. The boss man sure is fussy about cake. Reckon we got him the best one though. Yeah, this guy has some easy ways to beat him. But, with the Joy-Con Drift, it's hard to do it. Oh, I kinda did it there. There is also gonna be another thing right there, but for some reason Mario kept going forward. I'll just do it how Nintendo intended. Or, I should say, Nintended. Someone already made that pun, it was a video. I almost got him. Let's hope I can get some health. I didn't even get him on that one. Didn't get hit there. Bonk. Oh, he only takes two hits. For some reason, all of the Brutals seem to only take two hits instead of three. I think the female one takes three. And the blue one might take three, but his boss fight is super quick, so I don't remember. Anyways, we've got fully healed up with our next power moon. The Snowy Mountain Barrier. So yeah, we defeated some of the Brutals. We got half of these little plate things out from inside this hole here. And we've gotten just a step closer towards defeating Bowser, so... I think this is a good place to end off the video. I'll end it off here. There are four barriers, so we've got two to go. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of the barriers, go fight Bowser, and see if we could get to the next kingdom. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!